Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, just wanted to start off uh, today with a few words about my uh, YouTube channel, and obviously it, it's called FF Angus because that's the name of my farm is Fescue Farm. Uh, Angus or Fescue Farm. We have uh, half the herd is uh, purebred Angus, and the other half of the herd is a commercial, which we raise some clubbies on. And uh, I just want to express, uh, first of all, thank you for those that do watch. But also, you know, I realize that I'm not quite as outgoing and, and not as technology savvy as some of the other uh, YouTube channels that I follow. You know, Laura Farms, I think that's in Nebraska. You know, it's a young family and that gal is very outgoing. Uh, I think there's uh, Andrea Fleming, the fit advocate out of Minnesota that's cattle and crops. Uh, you know, they just do an outstanding job. Uh, a couple others that I follow is uh, the Sleep Ranch, which I posted a video on that one earlier. Uh, you know, a cattle operation uh, in South Dakota. And then there's another one called Sunny Farms uh, in South Dakota that I follow. And those folks do an outstanding job with their channel. I hope to get to their level at some point in time before I keel over. A uh, couple other ones that uh, that's kind of unique that I follow somewhat are uh, Ag with Emma, primarily in crop operations. We don't have that. It's kind of interesting for me to watch uh, some of that. And I guess another one is Hate on Harvest. So those are just some of the ones I watch. I think there's another one called 1880 Drifters. <clears throat> that's a cattle operation. And uh, I just hope that one day I can get the kind of following that they do. But needless to say, if you're watching, uh, please encourage uh, uh, you to, to share the videos with your friends and hopefully they'll hit the subscribe button and, uh, and move my uh, number of viewers up. I think the most I've had one time is uh, maybe over 3,000 views, but I'm only at uh, I think right at 300 subscribers and my goal is to get to a minimum of 1,000 eventually. So that's just a little update of uh, what, I, uh, what I do here and I just try and make these videos about just the kind of stuff that I do here on my particular farm here in southern Indiana. Well this morning uh, it's just kind of interesting the weather here in Indiana. You know, a week ago we were down in lows of 26. The last few days we've been back up into the 70s, which uh, allows me to get, I guess, quite a bit of stuff done here on the farm. I want to share something that maybe I haven't shared here, and I'm going to turn the camera around on some things that uh, uh, maybe some record keeping and what we do here in the barn. So first of all, uh, this uh, whiteboard was actually going to get uh, put in the uh, junk pile and somebody said, uh, ask if I wanted it, which I did. So I've just written down ahead of time all the cow numbers uh, and when they're due. So every time I walk to the barn, I'm reminded of, uh, hey, this is when these cows are due and maybe when I need to get them up. The next thing is uh, getting ready for kidding. I have to tear down the, uh, the barn stalls. And so I've got this all torn down. And, uh, and then my neighbor has a skid steer, which I wish I owned a skid steer, but I don't. He'll come in and clean this out. It'll only take, uh, probably an hour or even less so he'll knock this out pretty quick and then I'll go to a local sawmill and I'll put about four or five inches of sawdust down after I spread some uh, lime dust on the uh, the floor so I've got to do some work in here uh, this morning so just wanted you to see this particular uh, how we do things here as far as the barn goes because those goats again will start kidding uh, right before Christmas or right at Christmas time and I will show you uh, the setup that I have once I get that done. Well I just want to share a quick little uh, 
video clip of uh, the corn that's not out yet. Uh, and we're at the mercy of the uh, farm family that, that does this. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, I don't know any, uh, you know, row crop kind of equipment. Uh, this is always on the shares and they just haven't got here yet. There's probably 60 acres here that uh, I wish was out so that I could turn my cattle into this uh, particular piece of property, but uh, it's not out yet. So uh, when it gets out, I'll turn them in and hopefully that will be soon. So that's just a little update on the corn that's uh, still standing here. I just wanted to share this uh, beautiful uh, fall morning on the farm and the trees still have a few of the colorful leaves hanging on and it is uh, nice to wake up to mornings like this and uh, hopefully you can tell that uh, the beauty of agriculture and farm life here in southern Indiana and you can see my horse over there in the distance and she's due to have her feet trimmed this morning and I may try and film some of that for you it's a pretty simple process Okay, here we are this morning. It's uh, a little after nine. We got the farrier here. Uh, and uh, he's already got one foot done working on the back. And uh, I don't know how many of your farriers show up in sweatpants, but mine mine does. And he's uh, very comfortable in his attire. So I guess that maybe he can go home and go on the couch after he gets this done today. But this is the mare, Sadie. She gets her feet trimmed about every six, eight weeks. So this is how the morning starts off. And then I'm actually on the lawnmower, chopping up leaves and maybe mowing the yard for the last time. Well, I don't talk too much about the goats. They have been mentioned in a few of the videos, but uh, I think there's uh, 11 of them here plus the buck. And uh, it's kind of interesting. You can certainly tell uh, those that are expecting they sure uh, fill out that middle and uh, looks like we've got one that may have aborted. She's got uh, quite a bit of blood on her, so that's not a good sign. So that one's probably not going to kid. Uh, it's interesting that I come out and saw that today, but the rest of them here, uh, pretty good shape and... Uh, they should start right around Christmas time of, of kidding. So that's a little update on the goat herd. Well, this morning, uh, it's just kind of interesting, the weather here in Indiana. You know, a week ago, we were down in lows of 26. The last few days, we've been back up into the 70s, which uh, allows me to get, I guess, quite a bit of stuff done here on the farm. I want to share something that maybe I haven't shared here and I'm going to turn the camera around on some things that uh, uh, maybe some record keeping and what we do here in the barn. So first of all, uh, 
this uh, whiteboard was actually going to get uh, put in the uh, junk pile, and somebody said, uh, ask if I wanted it, which I did. So I've just written down ahead of time all the cow numbers uh, and when they're due. So every time I walk to the barn, I'm reminded of, uh, hey, this is when these cows are due and maybe when I need to get them up. The next thing is uh, getting ready for kidding. I have to tear down the, uh, the barn stalls. And so I've got this all torn down. And, uh, and then my neighbor has a skid steer, which I wish I owned a skid steer, but I don't. He'll come in and clean this out. It'll only take uh, probably an hour or even less. So he'll knock this out pretty quick. And then I'll go to a local sawmill and I'll put about four or five inches of sawdust down after I spread some uh, lime dust on the, uh, the floor. So I've got to do some work in here uh, this morning. So just wanted you to see this particular, uh, how we do things here as far as the barn goes, because those goats again will start kidding uh, right before Christmas or right at Christmas time. And I will show you uh, the setup that I have once I get that done. Well, the other thing that I wanted to uh, show you a quick video of today, uh, these are some replacement heifers. And actually, I didn't breed those this uh, spring. I just didn't think they were quite big enough. Uh, but I'll, I've held those over. And this is an Uno Moss. And an Uno Moss would be a half-blood semi. So she'll be bred. This particular cow I just brought home just because there was more pasture here. Uh, next two heifers that are uh, coming up, uh, these are Southern Charms. Uh, this particular heifer was actually a, a fall, so she's younger than the other ones. Uh, and again, these are, these are Angus. So again, Southern Charm, these will be bred uh, this coming spring. So they'll be certainly mature animals when they, uh, they get bred. Uh, and again, uh, just a couple cows that, uh, that I uh, brought home because there was more pasture here. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the one is there at a distance. It's uh, walking this way. I think there should be two of them down that way and take a quick walk down there and I'll shut the camera off and when they get closer I'll film those. I believe these next two are also uh, I can't read the tag numbers through. I'm sure they're last year's uh, heifers. This one uh, particular Angus heifer is out of the cleanup bull so we kept her and then this final heifer is another uh, southern charm. So that's what we kept from a year ago and uh, we've got four other uh, of this year's replacement heifers and I'll show you those in just a bit. Uh, but that's uh, a quick view of this particular pasture. I guess one of the more interesting things is when you uh, do these videos like this and you're out walking the cattle pasture and you're concentrating on filming. Uh, I don't know how many cow pies I have stepped in, but it has been several. Uh, just one of those things when you're filming you're not concentrating on where you're walking and this is Abby uh, she's a she's my boarder I actually have a healer and a Aussie as well but Abby's the one that likes to go every time you jump on the gator or every time you check cows well here's the heifers that were born uh, this spring that I ended up keeping back First, the one in back, there was a boulder. There was, uh, this is the uh, bottle calf, which is a twin, and she's a true north. Her sister is up there as well. Uh, there's one other one uh, that I kept, and uh, she's actually a commercial heifer. Uh, you can see she's got that white spot on her forehead. She's actually the youngest one of the group, but I decided to keep her. She's changed a bunch. 
Didn't like her early, but she's come on. And she was actually out of my Angus cleanup bull. Well, thanks everyone for watching. And remember, like and share. And above all, hit that subscribe button uh, at the bottom. We appreciate you uh, uh, checking in. And have a great rest of the week.